time for your forecast. Josh loves it when there's weird things happening in the weather. He, well, yeah, he gives you something yes to do. and no. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it does. You said but yes. I, all day Remember today, when it was nice? You were been complaining? Yes, all right. That's, that's true. <laughs> all right. Uh, you know, well, if computers could get into a really good uh, argument, yeah. there'd be some serious fisticuffs being thrown today. What has gotten into you? I don't know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> there's some, there's a little bit of uncertainty about uh, tomorrow's forecast. We've been talking all week okay. about the snow that's coming our way. Some of the computer models saying, yeah, 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 five, six centimeters of snow. Someone's saying, no, 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 none at all. What are you um, saying? I'm saying, yeah, there's a pretty good chance we're going to see some snow. <laughs> Can we get into so this? That's what I've been uh, Let's go. wrestling go. with through the day today, which has made it an interesting <laughs> day. Yes, indeed. Uh, mainly cloudy skies. The clouds have started to roll in. The wind has started to pick up minus six outside right now, uh, south at 16, so it feels like minus 12 once you factor in the wind chills. We talked about earlier in the newscast, you have about another hour, maybe two hours of cooling, and then temperatures will start to rise through the overnight. Minus four for the daytime high today at about 1.30 this afternoon, minus 14 the overnight low last night. Most of this afternoon, we've been sitting around minus seven, minus six, minus three, the normal high, minus 11. Uh, the normal overnight low. You notice the record was uh, plus 11, and that was set you know, last year at this time. It's big heat streak last year. We're going to get into some positive temperatures by tomorrow, although it looks fairly cool through eastern portions of the province right now. We do have some light snow in through the northwestern corner of the province. High level is actually seeing some very nice snowfalls. I'd show you that on the radar, but look at all this clutter that's uh, being picked up here. That's not real precipitation, so the radar map is just ugly. It's just a mess. Here's some pretty good uh, significant snowfalls mess of cloud cover and there's actually a series of lows one to the north here and then a second low just to the south of it heavy snowfall warnings heavy rainfall warnings wind warnings in place but all on the western side of the Rockies all through BC thanks to this system now the one low is going to take off to the north the next one's going to move through this is one of the computer models that's saying no snow for us in fact it's keeping uh, the vast majority of the precipitation with the exception of the mountain parks all through BC and shows us clearing up by tomorrow afternoon. I'm a little skeptical about that happening as this cold front moves through and this whole low pressure complex moves eastward. Uh, we are likely going to see some snow. It's probably not going to be five or six centimeters, but uh, one to three centimeters of snow through the day. And the wind is going to get kicked up as this cold front moves through. Now out ahead of it, you're seeing some very warm air being drawn in and not only at the surface, but at the upper levels as well. So there is also a chance uh, that early on it may be falling in some spots is rain or freezing rain, more so across the north than anywhere else, that risk of freezing rain. Later in the day, we'll get into a northwesterly flow. So your daytime high tomorrow around plus three is going to be set at about three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And then beyond that, we start to cool off fairly drastically. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night and into Saturday, this Arctic high pressing some cooler air in. We're about minus five to minus seven for daytime highs uh, Saturday as well as Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, though, we warm right back up. Jet stream well to the north of us, some very warm air flooding in uh, aloft and being drawn in at the surface uh, on the backside of this high pressure system departing to the southeast and out ahead of this big low pressure system washing up into BC. So uh, there is some heat coming our way early next week and also some warm temperatures tomorrow. Fort McMurray at minus one and minus 15 in high level. They won't see the warming trend. Uh, aside from that, right across the province, from top to bottom, Temperatures on the positive side of things. Here's how it's going to break down. This big picture across the south, warm and windy, like plus 5 or plus 6, but winds gusting between 70 and 90 kilometers per hour into the mountains, 5 to 10 centimeters of snow through the north, 2 to 5 centimeters of snow, chance of some showers, and a risk that that may be freezing rain. The problem is this yellow zone, which we happen to be in, kind of a zone, a bit of a little uncertainty with that. Mainly cloudy, it's going to be windy, and a pretty good chance that we will see some snow uh, although eh, we're kind of uh, caught in between uh, these two systems. Uh, cloudy overnight tonight, temperatures rising zero for the overnight low. Wind picking up south at 20, 20 to 30 kilometer per hour winds tomorrow, then shifting around to the northwest later in the day, plus three. As we said, it's a 60% chance, so it's not written in stone that we're going to see snow for tomorrow. It is uh, pretty much guaranteed that we'll get above zero, though, and we'll see the wind kick up, and that'll likely be the case through Saturday as well. Maybe some lingering flurries into early Saturday. Minus five, minus seven for the weekend, but Monday and Tuesday, plus one, plus three. Beautiful. <laughs> CFRN Weather, sponsored by Southgate Audi. I think that was about six minutes, and I'm only slotted four, so I should probably get out of here. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let you come back. Though. Okay, good. Thanks, Thanks Josh. Josh. I just threw my paper somewhere. I don't know why. A <laughs> couple of celebrities took time.